Hi guys and welcome to the channel. I thought today we'll do something slightly different. Now I've been doing a lot of research recently on 80s movies uh, and, and TV shows. Think of Knight Rider, Airwolf, Street Hawk, Miami Vice, that sort of golden sort of 80s period where it was all, you know, synthesizers were really new and exciting. Of course, synthesizers are still new and exciting, but in recent times, I always find that music seems to be more electronic music, that is. There seems to be a real push for sort of innovation and to really sort of like push the frontiers of sound. Whereas I find that this kind of period of music in the 80s, it was more about melody and sincerity. Not in all cases, but it's certainly that case if you look at people like um, Harold Feltermeyer, you know, the guy who did the soundtrack for uh, Top Gun, um, Tangerine Dream, you know, I'm thinking of Street Hawk. And what I'm going to demonstrate to you today is I have programmed the song Crockett's Theme from Miami Vice. Now, I, I love that song. I, I, I love the songs of that period. It, it, it seems as though the music in those days was just so sincere. Uh, it was less about the production and more about the melody. Even, of course, bearing in fact that synthesizers were very cutting edge and new at the time. But I just sort of love the sort of sincerity about that. So to sort of pay homage to this, what I've done is I've reverse engineered and programmed the song Crockett's theme from scratch. Now, I'm kind of contradicting myself because you guys know when I always say, if you're going to do a cover version of something, don't copy it. You've got to bring something new to it. You know, if you're going to cover a song, it, it, you've got to make it your own. Of course, with that, that is my theory, but I've thrown that theory out of the window for this particular demonstration because um, what I'm trying to do here is to try and replicate the song as best I can. Of course, bearing in mind that a little bit of my style will filter through on this uh, composition. Now, uh, in order to make this as authentic as possible, remember I'm not a purist like some people, but I have programmed as much of this as possible using hardware uh, keyboards, synthesizers, and I've steered away from sort of like plugins and in the box um, kind of stuff. Not that there's anything wrong with that. So I've used sounds from the Emu Emacs, uh, the Roland JD800, some of the classic Roland uh, sounds, and there's probably about 15% of that is plugins and in the box uh, and any sort of VST plugin I've used, and it's they're very little, I've run them through sort of like my um, my preamp there because you know I don't like that a glassy clean digital sound I'm always dirtying sounds up and of course there's nothing wrong with in the box sounds this is just my personal preference also the drums that I've used on this I'm using the original Lin drums and I'm also using the drums from the emu drumulator now obviously I don't have the original modules and they are not plugins. What these are, these are original Lin drum and drumulator samples, which I got from a friend and mentor of mine a few years back. Um, he actually had access to these machines and he actually sampled the libraries directly from those iconic drum machines. So I'm using those in this production. So I've tried to be as authentic as possible. And with that all out of the way, let's jump into this. For this demonstration, you will notice one of these iconic Roland sounds, which is the... Um, and I'm also using a... pad sound there, and a lead sound from the JD-800. Let's have some fun.